So this is part two of my U.S. carburation predator generator conversion to natural gas. I've been having a tremendous amount of problems getting their kit to work on my engine. Um, I spec'd my engine for them when I ordered, but they sent me the wrong snorkel. So I got the right snorkel, but then the regulator wasn't working properly, so they've sent me another regulator. That also did not work properly. Um, I had to have the engine on half choke, which I still do, and they suggest I try moving the snorkel closer to the Venturi center where the gas pickup pipe comes from the float bowl. So I spent a considerable amount of time, you know, checking that by disassembling it and making sure the end of the tube is right in the center of the Venturi where the gas tube comes up. And I did try shimming it towards the outer part of the engine a little bit to see if that made any difference, but it didn't. So it is at the point of maximum vacuum on the carburetor. I've got the shortest possible distance between the actual snorkel and the regulator. The regulator is not mounted in the direction that the arrow calls for, but I tried it in that direction and it made absolutely no difference. So I have to have the adjustment screw all the way out. And again, at considerable expense in their recommendation, I upgraded my valve to a full bore three quarter inch valve on my half inch pipe to a half inch flexible hose. I had a 3 8 inch before. So I can make a five foot flame off the 3 8 inch. I haven't flamed off the end of this one. But there's plenty of gas there. So I'm going to start it for you. I'm going to turn the switch on here. A little prime. So the problem I'm having is it will not run and the choke is off. The choke has to be half on in order for it to get enough gas to run properly. And the problem with that is an engine is a pump. The more air you can get through it, the more fuel you can add and the more horsepower you get out. So I don't feel the generator will reach its maximum rated generating potential because of that. So I guess I'm gonna contact the company at this point and find out why it's not working on this engine and see what they're gonna to do to remedy my situation. 